What am I gonna have to do here? I am gonna take tissues. Usually we use potatoes slash onions. We cut them into cylinders. We ensure validity. We ensure it's a fair experiment by means of cutting them all the same size. Now, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be like perfectly all the same size, but still good enough. I am going to weigh them. Why weight is a better option here than just this size? Because as I just told you, the length won't be perfect. Changes of mass are more detectable. In other words, I am expecting some of those cylinders to increase in size. I am expecting them to shrink. But in terms of the size, that changes the length is going to be very insignificant. Take them all, weigh them, and put them into different solutions. You must wait minimum 30 minutes. The longer, the better. So possibly wait two hours up to six hours. There is a very important step here where you have to dry them. Why drying is a must. You must dry them because if you don't dry them, they will all gain mass. Water on the surface will always make you feel that they've increased in mass, but reality, only some have increased in mass. That's why I have to dry. Once they're dried, I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna re-weigh. Now, remember, the initial mass wasn't all the same. Therefore, I need, again, to ensure validity. I must find percentage change. You can see here, some have gained water. Some have lost water. You may or you may not get no change in mass. What does that tell you here? It tells you that this particular solute concentration is identical to the one of the plant tissue itself. In other words, the water potential of this particular tube and the plant tissue itself, they are identical. What if you did not get this particular no change in mass? That's where you could do something like this. You draw a graph, meaning if the examiner asks you determine the solute concentration of this potato plant. You do exactly what I've done. You do those steps, meaning you would cut, soak, measure initial and final mass. But you add this line, you say, I'm going to plot a graph of my results. It's going to be concentration versus change in mass. Look at it somewhere here. There was zero change in mass. So this particular concentration here is equal to the potato plant tissue in general. So I'm going to review this briefly. Step one, use that cork borer. You make cylinders all the same size. Try your best. Then you have sugar solutions. One of them is going to be like your control. A control is the one where you remove any solute I mean, that has pure water, zero Sugar is pure water. Then you would take a tissue, you dry them, you weigh them, you soak. Again, you need 30 minutes minimum. Then you take them out, you dry them again, and then you would just measure the percentage change in mass. 